So, shall we give you a peek inside my diary? Hey folks, it's Finn. Welcome back folks, it's lovely to see you. So today's video is all about my bullet journal and what I'm going to do today is give you a catch up because I haven't done a video about my bullet journal for a while. I want to give you a walkthrough, I'm going to show you inside and show you all the different spreads I use. I'm going to walk you through how I use my journal and how this has changed since I first started using it. And more than anything, I want to show you that a bullet journal does not have to be a perfect work of art, which is a good job because I'm no artist. A bullet journal should be fun, practical and easy to use. Before we get stuck in, a quick reminder that if you are new around here and if you've been watching a while and you haven't yet got round to it, I'd love it if you'd subscribe. It really supports my channel and I'd love you to become part of our fabulous Finn fam. So, my bullet journal. Those who follow me on here and on my blog will know that I'm an absolutely massive fan of journaling. I've journaled for absolutely years. For me, I find it really invaluable to have a place where I can get all my thoughts out onto paper, to reflect on what's gone on, to understand myself better. It's been a huge help through all my things like addiction, managing to overcome addiction, managing through my gender transition, managing my daily mental health. It's part of my routine in I write in the morning and I write in the evening. I made a video recently about how I restart my day when I find that I'm just going a little bit off track during the day and journal is where I ground that in. If I'm restarting my day, I'll pick up my journal and write a couple of paragraphs in there. So for me, it's part and parcel of my everyday life and about my ongoing health and self-development. I don't know where I'd be without it. I moved to using the bullet journal method. I think it's about five years ago I made the video. I used to keep all sorts of lists. So I'd have my journal that I wrote in daily, which used to be just a diary. And then I'd have exercise books alongside where perhaps I was working through some self-development books or doing some goals. And I'd have all of these different notebooks. And then I learned about bullet journaling and I was like, where's it been all my life? It was an instant love affair and it was just so incredible that I could incorporate all of the different things I wrote about into one journal that I could then easily access to an index in the beginning. It was a revelation. But I was trying to put a little bit too much in there. And I think this is a thing with bullet journals, they can do so much. And so I think what often happens when people read about bullet journals, initially it's like, wow, this looks amazing. But then you start to get a look at some of the really in-depth bullet journalers and the in-depth daily spreads they have and it can feel very overwhelming and then I think that ends up putting people off and so really what I want to show today by walking you through mine is that it can be really simple you'll see when I walk you through mine in a moment that mine's much more simple than it even was back in the day I'll link a video to when I very first started doing a bullet journal and it's become much more simple since then one of the things I've eliminated from my bullet journal is the evergreen lists. So I used to keep all of my ideas for videos, all of my ideas for blogs in there as well. And then I was finding every time I started a new journal, I'd have to move that list across and it was getting a bit annoying. So all the stuff that's evergreen, I keep in an electronic form. What goes in my bullet journal now is specifically my diary, my to-dos, and then I focus on my goals, my daily reflection, and keep that, and that's much more simple. So shall we have a look through? So this is my current bullet journal. I switch between using all different sorts, but I really like these moleskin ones particularly because you can get these special editions, and I think this one's really cute. So to open it up, here is my imperfectionism <laughs> because I always start with good intentions of an index, and it never actually ends up being followed through. It's okay for me because my bullet journal is quite basic and quite easy to navigate. So the most amount of effort that goes into creating my bullet journal is in creating these future logs. These are a staple part of the bullet journal. It's where you do your planning for the year ahead. I like to do mine for six months at a time because I tend to go through more than one bullet journal a year. And I make it quite detailed so that I've got all the months to view for the next six months and I split it between personal and work so I've got all the dates and deadlines 
for work, personal and study, appointments, so forth. And that's just mapped out for the next six months. So I won't need to do that again now till midway through the year. The next biggest amount of effort I put into my bullet journal is once a month. And I have two spreads for a month. I have this one, which is all of my deadlines, dates and so on. And then I have this one, which is all my goals and habits. So on this one, this is a more detailed month to view. So I'll have all of my work dates and deadlines here, all of my personal appointments and so forth here. I'll also have a personal to-do list, a work to-do list, and I like to keep a gratitude journal. I make a note daily of all the things I'm grateful for, but I like to write all the big things down here once a month. And then this, this is my really detailed habits and goals for the month. Most bullet journals will have something like this and this is my own take on it. You might have seen my blog recently and if not, I'll link to that in the description of this video. But I follow the miracle morning, morning routine. And so this is all about that. So I have all of my morning routine goals here. So meditation, exercise, reading, writing in my journal. I'll also write a positive quote here for the month ahead. And I'll write a statement for the month of all my intentions, what I'd like to achieve that month and how I'm going to go about it, the things I'm going to stick to. And then this is my habit sheet. And as you can see, it has lots of different habits that I'm forming on a daily basis. And they will get coloured in each square on every time I hit that habit. And as you can see, I actually create this on my laptop and then print it out because it's just easier. So as you can see, there are many days that I miss my habits, particularly junk was bad last month, but that's okay. It's progress, not perfection. And also what you can see in here is that some days I'll just get a half coloured in box because some things I do twice. Like for example, my reading, I like to read in the morning and at night. I like to write in my journal at morning and at night. So on some days, if I only do one, it'll just get a half shaded in box. And these are my types of exercise. So I'll actually write down cardio or weights. So these two can look like a lot to do, but I only do those once a month. So once my monthly spreads are created, then it's just a case of filling in my bullet journal every day. I like to write twice a day. So this is what I'll do. I'll have a morning reflection and an evening reflection. I also have a little box here where I track my mood and my fatigue and any symptoms I've got to look after my hypothyroidism. As you can also see, I am not neat. So as I like to write twice a day, at night time, as part of my bedtime routine, I'll fill in my bullet journal from the day and then I'll write the next day. So I'll write the dates and I'll put this little admin box and then I'll pull things from my work or personal to do's and put that in the admin box here. And then on the morning, I'll write a morning reflection, just how I'm feeling, any intentions I've got for the day. And then at night time, I'll do the evening reflection. And if you followed my blogs, you'll know that I don't just write what happens in a day. I like to go quite deep and just reflect on my thoughts, feelings and actions for the day. So there you go, you can see that I've made it much more simple than it once was. The biggest effort now is that once a month where I spend around about half an hour, 45 minutes making everything ready for the month. But that's a really nice time actually to sit and do that and then I, it means I reflect on the month gone and I think about where I want to be and I find that really cathartic and that is just once a month. And so then I'm free daily to just use it in ways that works for me. And I just use little embellishments because I like them. But other than that, it's pretty plain and pretty simple. So I hope by showing you mine that you'll feel inspired that actually it doesn't have to be this perfect work of art, that it can be your imperfect bullet journal that works for you. Because after all, it's progress, not perfection. I really hope this has been helpful. If it has, please do let me know in the comments section below. And remember, you're always more than free to share my videos anywhere. If you'd like to see more of my mental health, self-development tips and tricks, I'll link you to a playlist here. And if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button, you can do that here. Thanks for watching, folks. Take care of yourselves. See you next week. Keep on keeping on.